In June of 2021, he signed a letter saying that he would not enforce any prohibitions on sex change operations for minors. And that's a debate that we're having mostly administratively and through medical licensing in Florida, but other states have enacted penalties on the people that would perform those, which are really disfiguring these young kids. And he said, it doesn't matter what the legislature does in the state of Florida, uh, he's gonna exercise a veto over that. He's also instituted policies of, quote, presumptive non-enforcement. And this involves an array of different things, and you'll probably hear Sheriff Chronister and some of the other law enforcement officers talk about it, uh, but that is not consistent with the role of a prosecutor. Yes, you can exercise discretion in an individual case, but that discretion has to be individualized and case specific. You can't just say you're not going to do uh, certain offenses. And then most recently, after the Dobbs decision was rendered by the U.S. Supreme Court, he signed a letter saying he would not enforce any laws relating to protecting the right to life in the state of Florida. And mind you, we have had prohibition on third trimester abortions for a long time. We've had prohibitions on partial birth abortions for a long time. And then most recently, the legislature enacted and I signed protections for unborn babies at three and a half months. And when they are aborted, it's typically done through a dismemberment procedure, which is really inhumane. Nevertheless, that is what the legislature has enacted, and it's not for him to put himself above that and say that he is not going to enforce the laws. We don't elect people in one part of the state to have veto power over what the entire state decides on these important issues. The Constitution of Florida has vested the veto power in the governor.